Hello guys, what's up to another video? Today I'm going to be explaining JavaScript. Uh, first of all, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language that gives functions to websites like YouTube. Imagine that you are going on YouTube and then you search something, then you press enter and then um and then you get some results. Yeah, sorry for the wait. So that's what JavaScript does. It basically gives you functions for your website so they work. So the first thing we have to do there is explain what is what the text is here. So as you see here, we have gotten some. So we have done this, but when we go to the start here, we want to make JavaScript something you can use on your HTML document. To so do you do that. So how you do that? You have to do that by opening your HTML file and then starting the HTML tag, the head tag and the title tag. Then write your title and then um yeah, then end the title tag and then end the head tag and then you have to make a new tag which will start the code which will start JavaScript. So you have to do script space language is equal quotation marks javascript quotation marks and then and then put the list in sign now this is where your javascript stuff starts so first you have to add a function which is a section of code in javascript so first you have to put the after that you have to put a curly bracket this curly bracket will contain all the code you have so like this is the code I have right here and I will have to and if I use it without JavaScript without the curly brackets then it then it um won't function so uh, so these curly brackets are very important then we have to make three sections, three mini sections of this part of code. We have to make three variables, variable A, variable B, or variable C, or whatever you want to call them. So then we have to write A is equal what we, all the code here, as you see. And then C is going to be our result value. So that's what the result is going to do. Then we are going. Then we are going to later focus on the evil stuff. But then there's also this form dot fn dot form dot sn and these were, and all that stuff. Now to know what dot that stuff is, we have to go down here to the HTML code and and tell them what the code is. So when you have JavaScript. You need to JavaScript needs to know and what form you are in, what what button should it function and everything, and what text should it function. Well, you see, we may we we put we wanted to we want JavaScript to know that we are in this form. So we did form space name is equal frm. So that is our form's name. But you can put a, you can say whatever you want for your form. And then we did this text called first number, and we put a space, and then we did in input type is equal to text, name is equal to fn which stands for first number, and then we put a brick. So, so if you without the brick, it will go in a line, and that is not what we want. We want it to be here. So for that we have to do second number. So we have to use a brick tag for that. Then we will type second number. Input type is equal text. Name is then is equal to sn, which is a sn tag. We are going to do brick again. And then we will have to do this. Then we will want to put a four, our four operations that we want for our for the website to do. So we have the plus website. You have the plus function, the multiply function, the minus function, the minus function, and the divide function. 
Now, as we see, now the divide function doesn't have any code yet. So what? So, so what you have to do is basically go to one of this go go to here and then go to a and then and the data and then put a new function now this new function will be called function divide and then we would have to put curly brackets so we'll just put some curly brackets right here That is pressed again. As you see, it's back to normal. 